my top tip today is about lighting. And the reason I'm doing this is what really frustrates me is when I'm in a Zoom call and the person picks up the call and they look like this. And it's not their fault. There's a few reasons for it. Basically, the webcams in most laptops are a bit rubbish. The other thing is we've all had to adapt and sort of learn how to work in a world where perhaps our rooms weren't set up for streaming, for Zoom calls, for anything. So why does that happen? Why don't I have that problem right here? Well, my setup isn't actually that special. I got a few things I like because I kind of like this stuff, which is why I'm sharing it. If you were to go on YouTube and ask, how do I make my YouTube channel perfect? You'll find about 4K cameras, beautiful HD shots, the people will look lovely. They also spend a fair bit of money. And we don't really want to be doing that for something that's coming often out of our own pocket. If not, we don't usually have a huge budget for these things. We're certainly not raking in millions of clicks on our YouTube channel. So what can we do? Well, if you follow the guide, they would say you need a key light, an edge light of this light. You don't. You don't. What you do need is to make sure there's more light on your face than on everything around you. In my room, the problem is there's a light in the ceiling right there. Yeah. Terrible place. It's four strip bulbs and they're really bright. And that means my top of my head is getting most of the light. My face is getting very little and I look a bit like Dracula when I don't have lights in front of me. So that's why I felt I had to do something. The other problem I have, never have a window behind you. It's actually not too bad now. It's getting a bit later, so it's got a bit dimmer. But during the middle of the day, that is pretty bright. So the solution is I need more light in front of my face than behind. But not so much that my eyes hurt because that's pretty rubbish too. So how do we do that on the cheap? Well, the great thing is, and this we can thank all the people who are producing our own video content have been causing a load of cheap lighting products to appear on Amazon. And for £20, you can get a light ring, which you can clip a camera in or a phone into and record from. And it comes with a little tripod and will sit on your table. For 30 quid, you can find one which will stand on the floor and you can put behind your desk. So if you've got some space behind your desk or to one side, you can use that. And what those light rings do is because the camera goes in the middle of them, they can let you get the light straight towards where it needs to be, filling out what's missing. And then just tweak the brightness. Don't worry about you being pristine. Don't worry about the dramatic, darker background your face light, which is what a lot of people producing content want. Uh, I could walk over there and turn the main light off, but then I'll be sitting in a darkened office all day long with lights in my face and it'll feel a bit like a scene out of an interrogation movie. Instead, dim it down to the point you're comfortable. Dim it down so it's not giving you a headache. You can also, and actually I think this is something that is often missed, leave the camera on the top of your monitor. Do try and use an external webcam. Come to maybe that in another video. Or use a phone. But if you're just getting the light at this point, it can be off slightly to one side. That will get you some more of that shadow and features in your face. I haven't got a huge amount of this here. I'm not trying for that dramatic look. But a little bit isn't going to do any harm. And it's going to make you just have a little bit more presence. And what you'll find by putting that light there, even if you've got a poor webcam, the light will improve the quality of the image. You may just want to tweak the contrast a bit in the camera settings if you're already doing that. If you're not, it's, it's not rocket science, but the light will just help. And there you go, for 20, 30 pounds, you now have an option not to look like from a horror movie. You can get a little bit more oomph to your videos. And that's really what we're looking for. So quick tip, 20, 30 pound light ring off Amazon. Really don't want any more, just put it on your desk next to the camera and suddenly you'll stop looking like this. Thanks for watching.